I have had this real bad habit as of recent where I will completely chuck a whole bunch of materials into a unit that I don't really need and then just using the excuse oh yeah well it helps out with box cc and this is another unit i am of course trying to continue the demon train and getting through all the demon characters of course that is upgrading the Balion, a character who i'd never even really used i don't think once before this of course a character everyone has six six i mean he is on so many banners and we still haven't had the other characters from his movie i'm not too sure why we still haven't had characters like gray road as well who's a pretty big part of the seven deadly sins franchise and was looking at his cosmetics before and had to go ahead and buy this one i mean it just looks it looks really really good granted i'm not a huge fan of the haircut it's all right it probably suits the skin better than the regular hair but hey i don't mind but Belion, super super cool character in his actual show he has a really cool ultimate animation i really like when they give these characters the custom backgrounds and they don't just go ahead and use the actual stage they're in absolutely love that but if you guys don't know what the Belion does his first card here inflicts shadow damage equal to 300% of attack on all enemies his second card inflicts damage equal to 450% of attack on one enemy and depletes three ultimate move gauge orbs the ultimate inflicts damage equal to 788% of attack on all enemies unfortunately no effect there which is weird and last but not least the passive when the hero recovers 30% of HP, or sorry, the hero recovers 30% of HP diminished for each debuff removed from self. So, all right, definitely a passive that has been massively, massively power crept. Only reason we're not jumping onto the gear side of things today is because, I mean, yeah, your boy hasn't got any gear whatsoever built out for this character. I'm surprised I actually haven't got that rolled out for full HP. It must be one of the characters I missed, but this is the team we're going to be using today. Absolutely loving the nighttime sky for the fighting festival, but let's dive in. A crisp clean 200,000 cc and oh my god really gonna come up against the Sigurd team to start us off yeah and I mean I'm calling it the Sigurd team because Sigurd just does so much for the combination with Esterosa and Assault Melee um what do we want to go for I mean it's very nice that Belion has the extra or at least he has one AoE card but I mean the second we attack into our opponent we're gonna give him the triple Sigurd buff so definitely don't want to do that it's a pretty decent card draw there for the Esterosa really depends on what we want to go for but I would say if you are doing the Esterosa Ditto and they do have Sigurd waiting out the first turn if you get to go first, inevitably they will go ahead and chuck out the Extort card and then they're going to get their buffs anyway in the next turn. So we'll kind of start and attacking from this turn onwards, but I'd say merging that first card is probably the best way, or at least the best way I've found to do it. Only scary part is when it comes back to us here. Um, he does have a couple debuffs on him. We could remove the Sigurd, but Esterosa and Melee are the main threats and they'd still be alive thinking if we go I'd really like for those two to kill and then we can just use the final tentacle blade card to kill maybe kill Sigurd oh yeah we're definitely killing yeah that's the at least that's the best way I've found to kind of counteract this matchup a little bit of a little bit of advice there. I mean I'm sure most of you guys have surely I'll, maybe if I had to change those cards around use the one star on Esterosa we could have finished him off but I'm sure you guys are naturals at this one by now and from this turn on we can start using the belly on AoE I haven't got any debuffs on the other two though. We could instead, if he goes for the kill on Esteros, it'll be real good for us. We'll get the merger on the melee ultimate, and then we can simply one tap. Going for melee instead. Okay. Melee gonna survive? I mean, he's hitting crits and he's still not doing that much damage. Oh, come on, I'm really crit all three times. That is. I mean, granted, they do have similar stats. They are the same character, of course. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. I mean. I'm still really scared to attack into him here. I feel like we're not going to be able to get the kill. No point attacking with Zeldris, he has no ultimate agent, it's not like he can remove melees either. Oh, why would I Why would I doubt Esterosa? What am I What am I thinking? Of course Esterosa is going to be able to kill there. And then surely you attack the character you have type advantage on and his lower HP? Oh, perfect. Look at that. Unfortunately, absolutely zero use from Bellion, but he sat there, he looked pretty. Yeah, that team there and any of the Archangel teams that involve the Green Sariel are definitely going to be some really hard matchups for us. Full human team using the Eskner as well, love to see it. Would have been perfect if we couldn't get an extra AoE card, but that's alright. Let's go for... We'll go full send on the Arthur. I'm going to keep that one there just because if we get extra Esterosa cards, we ideally don't want the merging. That way we can just spare more of his cards, but... I mean, hey, animations on Belly, even just on his regular cards look absolutely sick. Especially for how long ago that unit released, and just like, what, 10% of the game at this point, he has that exact same ult removal card. Surely the next character we get, actually, I did see that we are getting a new Tonar in the, well, they, I believe she's on Jap in the Japanese version as we speak, at least the time I'm quoting this, but 
I think she has that exact same ult removal card, so is absolutely everywhere in the game. Let's go one, two, and I might go for the flood instead on you. Yeah, throwing that out in there. Trying not to get Arthur very weak because we don't want the Holy Relic proccing and cleansing all the debuffs, all that kind of stuff. So finish him off. I doubt this will kill Barn. Barn is such a tank. But can Estorosa defy the odds? Almost. Almost. And then, yeah, in this next turn, might let and see if we can get Bellion to cook a little bit. Oh, extra single target? Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Uh, the barn is a little scary, though. We might have to might have to diverge from that plan. Oh, actually, Spugo doesn't have Poly Relic. Let's go. We can we can watch Bellion carve up. Absolutely carve up this barn. Level 90? Against the level 90 barn, so not at that big a disadvantage. That could hurt, though. Oh, never mind. We're chilling. No crit. Good job, Eskinal. I mean, it's it's what you'd expect at this point. Let's see, we'll go... Ah, oh, there's no death effects on him anyways. One, two, and then three. Get the ultimate here and we can kind of finish off with that one. Oh, hold on. He's actually gonna kill. I mean, I, that is, of course, that's what I expected, right? Bellion's, Bellion's godlike. Ah, oh, he has an AoE ultimate though, and I really would have liked to have seen his damage on the two of them. I mean, it's my first time getting to see his ultimate, even when he released. I didn't use the character. I didn't spend money on the game when he released, so I didn't even think I would have summoned on his banner. Because I believe he was just a single unit banner. Back in the day, believe it or not, they actually used to do duo banners, but not anymore. Oh, making people fall for Bellion? But I mean, they couldn't keep that. I'm guessing the main reason they didn't do that is because it was just way too much effort making two units on certain weeks and pushing them out where you could just make one unit that week and then do the other in the next. I could imagine that'd be why. Let's go for the double melee first. That way we can see the final attack with all the death effects. I mean, it's not going to be that much, but ooh, it should be a decent amount. What are we kind of expecting from Bellion here? 60,000, not bad. I mean, Eskinol's at half HP, so there's that. I'm surprised we're not seeing full level 100 opponents. Even, I suppose your team does play into effect. They do like to kind of base the matchmaking on what your team is as well, but surely not. I've run level 9 units all the time because, man, grinding for level 100 right now, it's not so much actually getting the demons done, more so getting the pendants, but yeah, the demon part of it's fine, and I'm trying to save pendants for the ReZero Club because we're going to be getting two new characters. I mean, I did go ahead and waste a whole bunch of pendants and super ranking materials on both this Bellion here and the Green Monspeed. I've been looking to use the Green Monspeed forever now and just never really had the time to do so. Let's... I'm not really scared of Eskinal, so I want to attack into you whilst you're having Croach. It's only a level 1 though. Let's see what he can do. 80,000, not bad. Yo, he actually almost killed. That would have been so good. If we had a level 2, that would have been fire. Damn, he actually did a lot of damage. For a level 1, the, the thing about the ult depletion card is it scales with damage so much from the level 1 to the level 2, so with that, we would have easily been able to kill. And he was actually critting on Tamiel, which I don't know what this man's crit chance looks like, but it must not be half bad, or unless Tamiel just has terrible crit resistance. And yeah, it doesn't look like he's rushing ult. Look at this kind of Esterosa card draw we've got going here. This is... <laughs> this is game at that point. Oh my. Block on Bellion, which we don't even really have to worry about, because I believe his single target card was Shatter. Oh no, his AoE card Shatter. Yeah, it's good, better than Charge, I think it is. Ignoring resistance is better than Charge, but... Mm. Damn, Tamiel doing no damage. He's really good on certain teams. There's a fun alt control team that I've done a video with him on previously. Uh, let's go one. I would really like to see his damage. I'm going to pray that that doesn't kill. And go for this here. Please don't kill Tamiel. Oh, he's too good. <laughs> Bellion is actually too strong. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, and I forgot we have the... Wait, we still got the debuff on us, even though Tamiel died? Surely not, right? Oh, well, let's let's just skip on to the next match anyways. And such a long loading time on that one. And I'm not sure I've already said this, but such a missed opportunity, them not giving us the night time for when you're actually fighting in the festival. Run the Kusak, though. Uh... Due to the fact that we did get the extra AoE and he's not running Sega, I feel pretty confident attacking into him here. The three debuffs is going to be kind of annoying, but as long as we can get an extra AoE, we can simply kill off his Assault Melee and Esterosa. It's what? We have two out of 
six cards in the team. Oh, that's that's on me there. My math was so slow. Oh my god. Two out of six cards. So what, a one and third chance of getting an AoE? Surely we can just pull one AoE card. That's all I ask for in that mobile. Please, and if it wasn't to lag. Oh yeah, look at that. And we get the murder as well. My boy Bellion's going crazy. Yeah, I recently upgraded the green mod speed in Delay's Awakening, and then I realized the red mod speed has double AoE. I 100% should have done that. I mean, I do prefer the green mod speed as a character, but Kyo isn't that hot at the moment, no pun intended. But uh, yeah, and no, I really want to try out a couple teams with the green mod speed, so definitely expect that in the near future. Doesn't synergize super well with the Esterosa, and it's just a little bit weird chucking the Kyo on the team. But there we go with... But that's Dorosa surviving that one. I'm sorry, man. It's it's all over. Go for the... Okay, everyone's we'll targeting one. Sweet. That one there. And easy, easy forfeits. Look at that victory screen. And I mean, Bellion going kind of crazy. We've been getting a lot of victories in what? I think three forfeits? Because the first opponent forfeited as well. And I mean, at that point, I'd already moved on to the next match. Um... Hmm... Is rushing barely an ultimate really worth it or am I better off going for someone else? I'm gonna go for it since it's his showcase and we've won every other match up to this point. Ooh, good card draw. Okay, and then this, we can go ahead and chuck our... Okay, this could be perfect actually. Oh no, but he's gonna get Esterosa. I think we've lost entirely due to that fact. My idea was we go double melee AoE. Throughout the, the belly on AoE, that'll be the three darkness procs. We can hopefully get an extra AoE. We're just gonna have to go full send on him. That's a shame. Um, well, actually, still go for this here. It's gonna be less darkness procs, but the way I was looking at it is, oh, look at that. Even baiting the evasion food, surely we can get the kill here because of that, right? Belly, it was your purpose to proc the evasion food. Now Esterosa just has to crit and kill, and we are not getting anywhere near. Oh, we're all decently close, but... Ah, and then look, it takes over to his turn. He gets his triple buff. That was such a good chance to throw off the ultimate as well. Ah, oh, we even got the... We even got the evade food proc. Oh, no. If he didn't have the evasion food either, we would have... We would have won that match. What a shame. What a shame. Can't even see the damage number off his Esterosa either. Well... I really want to do just one more match. I'm, I'm going to give it one more chance to get off the full belly on ultimate. But there we go. That just about does it for today's video. I did end up doing an extra match and it was a complete mistake. Unfortunately, did not go ahead and get the ultimate. So, uh, well, what can you what can you do? I still really enjoyed using the belly. I'm surprised we got as many of those good matches as we did. Us getting the wins. A couple forfeits, which is really nice to see. But who knows when we'll get the rest of the characters from his movie. Still haven't had characters like Pump, all that kind of stuff. So, ah, uh, well, but... That just about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like and subscribe. Really means a lot to me and I'll see you guys for some more Brand Cross content.